Okay, so in this video, we will prove that the function x squared over 9 is a probability density function for the random variable x over the interval from 0 to 3. So if you recall, to prove that a function is a density function for some given variable x over some given interval, in this case from 0 to 3, we have to prove that the function satisfies two conditions. So this is our f of x, x squared over 9. The first condition is, as the density function returns probabilities, it must be non-negative. So is f of x at least as big as 0 over the interval? Well, as we have x squared over 9, x squared can never be negative, clearly, the first condition is satisfied. The function is always on negative, actually for all x values, but of course also on 0 to 3. So the first property was trivial. The function is clearly non-negative on the given interval. The second property, if you recall, was that the entire area below the density function over the interval must be exactly equal to 1. Well, the area, of course, is given by the definite integral. And here we integrate over the entire range of possible x values. Well, we can now substitute. The range of x values is 0 to 3. The density function, or at least what we hope, is a density function is simply x squared over 9. Integrating this is rather trivial. 1 over 9 stays there as a constant multiple. Power rule in x squared, of course, gives us x cubed over 3. We now have the antiderivative, and we must, of course, evaluate from 0 to 3. Well, we can simplify this as x cubed over 27, 3 times 9 is 27, from 0 to 3. So at 3, we get 3 cubed over 27, but 3 cubed is 27, minus the function at 0, but 0 cubed is 0, and of course we are left in the end with 1. So indeed, the entire area below our density function over 0 to 3 is equal to 1. So this proves that the function x squared over 9 is a probability density function on the interval from 0 to 3. And now that we have a probability density function for x on 0 to 3, we can find corresponding probabilities. So here we're going to ask, in part 2, what is the probability that x lies, say, between 1 and 2? We know that geometrically, the probability that x lies between some interval, in this case 1 to 2, is nothing but the area below the density function over the given interval. And of course the area below a curve is given by the definite integral. The curve here is x squared over 9, and the interval is from 1 to 2. Well, we already have found the antiderivative before. It's the same function, x squared over 9. So the antiderivative is x cubed over 27. And we must evaluate this from 1 to 2. So at 2, we get 2 cubed, which is 8. So we get 8 over 27 minus the function when x is 1, but 1 cubed is 1. So 1 over 27. 8 minus 1, of course, is 7, so we get 7 over 27. And in decimals, this is approximately 0 0.259. If you prefer in percentage, this is about 26%. So, given the random variable x with its corresponding density function x squared over 9, the probability that x lies somewhere between 1 and 2 is about 26%.
26%. Of course, geometrically, this is nothing but the area below the probability density function over the given range of x values. And that's it.